let's talk about content creation and sort of the process that I use to create and post and kind of like scheduling the time for that. So I'll just kind of speak generally. I'll show you an example on the screen as well for my process. Um, but, uh, you know, generally, I think of content creation um, in three stages. I have two blog posts that I want you to Google, and you should be able to find my blog post. The first one is the three stages of content creation. So Google that one and find my blog post on that and, and read it. Um, basically, stage one is prolific exploratory content. Stage two is repurposed the best of and edit and repurpose. And stage three is monetized. But anyway, so that's that's the second blog post I invite you to look up is the three phases uh, of creation, the three phases of creation. And um, if you don't see my blog post, just do the free the three phases of creation, George Cow, and uh, hopefully that'll that'll come up. Okay, I'll, I'll easier thing to uh, the three phases of creation: play, polish, promote. Play, polish, promote. Those are two separate blog posts. The three stages of content creation, and then later on, a few years later, I wrote the three phases of creation. The three phases: of play, polish, promote. That's the second one. So uh, let me talk about this play, polish, promote idea briefly, which is, um, you know, when I sit down to write an article. I first play with the idea that I have in mind. There's no judgment in the play phase. I'm just, what could I? I mean, if I said something, anything about this idea, what what might I say to somebody? Let's play with the idea. All right, just type in the random stuff. Could be crazy, could be boring, could be interesting, it doesn't matter, right? And then the polish phase is like, okay, now I've got some things written down. Now, now I'm kind of editing, right? I'm cutting and pasting. Well, well, this idea should go above that one. And this idea really should go at the bottom here. And you know, cut and pasting and then polishing is uh is you know part of polishing is okay. Well, let me this idea, maybe I just need to say if another sentence about, right? Another, oh, I have this example for this other idea. Okay, let me so the polishing is kind of like the the making it um readable, making it, you know, and then finally the uh the promote is uh, all right, I'm gonna post the article or uh and you can apply this to video creation and to podcast creation as well. It's same idea, play, polish, promote for video playing with well, what what might I say in the video you kind of do a little bit of outlining and journaling before you start recording right and then um, the polish part those of you who do video editing the polish part includes video editing uh, taking out the ums and nods or silences whatever you do with video, I don't do video editing I just go live but for me the polish part is basically um, yeah I don't really have a polish part for video recording because I do everything in one take and then the promote part is just posting the video or posting the podcast episode or whatever it is so Basically, that's and then, but but then you know you might notice that if you spend a lot of time creating the thing and then you don't have enough time, you you need realize you have to schedule time for posting it, promoting the the piece of content as well. This is where I want to show you on the screen here. I have a process uh, that I give myself for that. So uh, I click on you know one of the little tips. Please use bookmark bar. A bookmark bar you can just drag drag links into your bookmark bar and easily access it again so i bookmark my content creation process so friday is when i uh my major content uh creation day and i have a i have a structure for myself for for what i do on fridays now i, I don't need to talk you through the stuff on the left because everybody has a different method of creating content but i just want to show you i put the steps for myself on you know on the left I put the steps for myself and then I, this is the Friday, and really I should call the steps, right? As a step one, two, three, four, five, and I, I've already sorted by it. And this is whether or not I've done it. I've given myself a time allotment for each 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And if you, if you add up all the time, it takes me 89 minutes. So basically exactly an hour and a half to do all these things. I've timed myself in these segments over time to continue refining how much time these things take me. And if things, something's taking too long, I can of course say, well, maybe I don't need the 30 minutes to record that. Maybe I'll do a 20 minute thing. I can change that. So once I've done each thing, I'll just put like a, yes, I've done that. Okay. So if every single Friday you, you, I, I come back here and I go, okay, have I done that yet? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Did I do the Instagram live yet? Yes, I did that. Okay. Have I edited the article? Oh, I haven't edited the article. And I'm going to click on this link to go to my blog dress to go and, you know, uh, this is a Google drive folder link, you know, it goes to my blog drafts and let me go ahead and edit, you know, edit the article. Uh, let me go ahead and edit this, you know, and that's part of my, part of my process. So it's so easy for me to, to go through my process because things are linked together and, 
and I've got the steps and I've got about approximately how much time things take me. Oh, I got to post it on Medium now. Okay, this link directly goes to posting a new article on Medium. So I copy and paste my, you know, my 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 uh, my Google article, and I uh, I paste it into Medium, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and then I I might do some editing from from there. So you see, all the steps are listed out for me, um, and when I'm done with all the steps, I just select the call and delete it, and I can reuse it next week. So so this is why it's so important to have what I call a hat manual for the different aspects. You know, you wear different hats in your business. Now I'm a, I'm a content creator hat, bookkeeper hat, you know. Um, uh, client preparation hat and each hat has a manual or a checklist of things that you do so it's very calming and it's like oh yeah i just have to follow the steps i know exactly what i'm doing and i know exactly how much time things take also and so um yeah the 90 minutes has been very uh very consistent for me over i've done this for years now and so um now i do want to say one thing about um uh, how I, um, uh, one more thing I say about how I actually create ideas these days, that the play phase, I'll, I'll say a bit about this. Um, actually, you know what, I, I realize I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this in another segment. So below this video, there should be a link to that other segment where I talk more about the play phase. If you don't, if I didn't forgot to put it, please remind me by commenting below. So I hope this is helpful to kind of see the possibility of having a, a workflow for content and therefore knowing how much time you need to schedule for these things, for, for whatever process you are, you are working so that you can go, okay, I'm going to schedule the, the play phase on, on a Monday or something. I'm going to schedule the polish phase on a Wednesday and then the promote phase on a Friday or whatever it is you, you need to do. It's usually a good idea to give yourself some uh, sleeping on it time between the play and the polish phase. And even the, during the promote phase, you might realize you want to edit just a little bit more before you promote. Um, so, uh, but the, the polish and the promote phase can really be done, done the same, the same segment is fine, but the play and the polish phase should really try to just at least sleep on it. So give it a day or two, uh, you know, change or, um, you know, gap between those two phases. So I hope this is helpful.